Well, we're hoping to make a decision by the end of the summer. At the end of the summer. We're hoping to make a decision by the end of the summer. We have been delayed, and the reason for the delay, very candidly, has been that the competitiveness of both Madrid and Barcelona has been not stopping. They continue to come, they continue to find better situations, better pieces of land, things of that kind, keep going on. So we're about at the end of that, we believe. And so now we have to give very serious thought to where we are. And so that's why the trip was scheduled for this week. Originally, our date was to finish by June. We've missed that. So hopefully, hopefully by September, we will hope to have a decision. At the end of September, you mean then? By, by the beginning of September. By the beginning. Make a so now that I've given you a quick overview about us, let's spend some time talking about Spain. This week, our company's board of directors is looking at potential development locations in both Barcelona and Madrid. No surprise to anyone here. They're out on a boat right now, not listening to me, looking at the coastline and the shore of Barcelona. As of today, there is no location more favored than the other. Barcelona and Madrid are remarkable world-class cities with welcoming people and both have plenty of attributes which would make them ideal places for the development of our integrated resorts. Let me be clear about the selection process. We are not matching up the pros and cons of Barcelona versus Madrid. This is not a football game, though we do wish Spain good luck against Portugal this week in the semifinals. Where we're only, only looking, looking at these two cities as the possible hosts for our development, the determining factor on which city we'll choose will hinge primarily on one thing. I say primarily on one thing. 